Okay, so you want to make a pie chart and you want to have a common font or it could be any other project, but you want to have a common font throughout your design. First thing is look at all the tools you're going to use and what are the font options for those various tools. For instance, right here uh, on Google, there's limited options. So I click on the, the style of the chart. These are the only fonts I can choose from. Why doesn't really exist on the Mac? Garamond, Georgia, Tahoma, these do show up on the Mac. So I could use these if I wanted to. I'm going to pick Georgia. Georgia's kind of cool looking. And background color I selected to black because I know I'm going to have a black background in my presentation or in this case a video. And I go down to legend and I pick a font size that goes as big as possible without getting too big. Now this is too big. This was 20. I'm going to go back down to 16. All the words fit in here nicely and that works. The color of the text, I want it to be white for maximum contrast on the background. And uh, I just again make sure that Georgia is selected here for this option. Now that I know I have Georgia, what I want to do is I want to go in the Mac and take a look at my font options to make sure that Georgia exists. On the Mac, if you come up here and you type in font book, font book is a tool that manages all the fonts on the computer. And what I want you to do is take a screenshot of the font you're going to use throughout the project. So in this case, I looked up Georgia. So I clicked on all fonts right here. I typed Georgia right here and voila, it came up and I can see italic, I can see bold, I can see bold italic. But I'll just click on regular and then I'm going to do command shift four and take a screenshot of this. And this right here is what I want you to put in your blog under what your font choice is. Then stick with this font throughout the duration of the project. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.